the vlog guys if you caught my last vlog you'll know that i said i am booked and busy so happy march this is my march monthly reset i'm gonna be doing my monthly grocery stock it's gonna be a light one this month because i have so much stuff coming up and i'm using this weekend to kind of prepare for all of that if you watched my last vlog you know that i said i planned out like everything i have going on and i think i have a total of three free weekends all the way until june this is one of those free weekends and i'm using it to plan and prepare for everything i have coming up march is just booked and busy for me i'm going to colorado then i have a hair appointment then i have a dentist appointment then I have a St. Patrick's Day parade. Then it's one of the little kids' birthday parties. Then I have my flight that same day to go to California for work. On the way home from California, I am meeting the girls in Vegas. So I have a weekend in Vegas and then I come home and then it's Easter, it's April booked and busy. So I'm starting my weekend. I'm about to head out. I'm, I'm gonna do my expense breakdown for the month of February like I did in my last monthly reset. A lot of you guys like that and I personally love talking about that. But holy cow, did I spend a lot of money in February. I'm really trying to not spend a lot of money, but I'm still trying to prepare for all of these trips I have coming up. So I am heading out the house today to spend money. I am going to go to the outlets, go to Cabela's. I need like an adventure down jacket for my trip in April. So I'm going to go see if they have that now. Hopefully it'll be on sale since like winter's over. Also need some new white shoes. I want to get some cleaner looking nicer ones to like wear with my work outfits for a more casual look. Really just not trying to spend a lot of money or buy a lot of things I don't need, but problem is I need a lot of things. So that's what we're heading out to do right now. My kids see me. shopping let me guess walmart no well we're going to walmart what store are you going to going shopping i'm going to cabela's to see if i can get a jacket for my trip you know there's like a up thing and down thing what do you mean an escalator in cabela's yeah i can't wait to check it out i'll make sure to video you've it. never been there i don't think so no i've been there me too you too hey brinley Recording? I'm recording. It's not a spoon. Yes, it is. It's a board spoon. Where's the It's not a skateboard. All right, I'm heading out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Where are you going? Home. Bye. 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 Watch out, Ellie. Bye. Bye. Them kids are doing the most. They are so funny. And now I really want a slushy actually. But I'm also seeing that I have no gas. And apparently there's an escalator inside of Cabela's. Graceland there was an escalator in there but not so much on the clothes like they had clothes but like I guess I was thinking more of an academy vibe like leggings and workout stuff but that was really not the case they had like about four down jackets so when I mean four I mean literally four one in each different color different style different size none of which I wanted or would even be able to fit so I'm in the outlet mall area right now so I'm gonna see what other stores they have I tried some jackets on like months ago and I didn't get them I was like it's on my Christmas list somebody will get it I should have bought it when I saw it then because that's what I think I want now yeah we're just gonna cross the street and go see there's Old Navy I think I want to go there let's go to Old Navy starting Wait. route to Old Navy you know, instead of a slushie, maybe I want a daiquiri. I already have some daiquiris in my freezer, so that means I wouldn't have to buy anything. Sounds like a good idea, eh? So maybe when I get home, and also the sun came out, so it's not gloomy, it's not cold, it is 
almost 70 degrees. When did this, when did this happen? So it's a 70 degree daiquiri finish shopping so I can go outside day.
to get down. <laughs> outside all day and I think going forward I decided that I'm not doing any adult tasks on the weekends. The weekends are too short for me to be an adult. Weekdays already suck with work so might as well tack on all of my adult tasks I have to do after that. Weekends are for playing outside. It is currently seven o'clock, sun is down. I'm exhausted. I literally have been playing outside all day. Roller skating, tanning I guess you can say. If the sun came out we would lay out, had music on. Just a great time. But I want to do my price breakdown for you guys for February. I mentioned in my last vlog that boy did I spend a lot of money this month. And so something I'm also doing today or right now is using my passion planner and reviewing my month of February. Three things that you can improve on the upcoming month. Number one for me is finances. Spend less money. I've just been trying to buy a bunch of stuff and I've been paying for my trip and stuff. And so like girl math, when it comes to April, my trip is gonna be free. So I am paying for a lot of stuff that's happening in the future, but also shopping a lot to prepare for these trips. So just in general, I just wanna make sure I'm getting back to my old self and watching what I'm spending and make sure I'm saving them as much money as I can. But what's saving if you don't spend? So I'm okay with spending a little money too. And then my second thing I want to work on for this upcoming month is my screen time. I feel like I get off of work and like my brain is just so melted. I just want to get on my phone and like scroll. Even though I've been staring at a screen, I just don't feel like doing anything outside of not thinking. So I just scroll my phone and I feel like I waste my whole afternoon. That's why I feel like if I save all my adult tasks for the weekday, then I'll actually be productive and get something done. And Saturdays and Sundays are for having fun. Anyways. To my finance breakdown, I spent a lot, you guys. I spent a lot. For my February grocery restock, I spent $186.48. Throughout the month, how much did I buy in addition? I did actually go shopping throughout the month and buy more groceries. I spent $297.54. So that was on the rest of the groceries. And, you know, that probably also included some miscellaneous items that I get at Walmart that aren't technically groceries, but that's how much I spent. When it comes to utilities, I spent $689.53. What? That doesn't sound right. But I tell you what did happen. I have everything on like auto pay except for my water because like it's a system from the 90s and that's just not an option. And I kept wondering why my water bill was so expensive. Like all of my utilities are about like $30 to $50 each and then water would always be in the hundreds. Just not the hundreds, just hundred, about a hundred. And I'm like, why is my water so much? It's because I have, since I moved in in August, I've skipped every other bill. So every time I look and actually go to pay my bill, it's from the month before too. I just got my water bill for like the month I have to pay for now. And it's like $50. Why? Because I actually paid my bill this time. Every other time I've paid a hundred because it was 50, 50, two months. Since I moved in. I don't know how I do it. But why is my utility 700? I need to figure this out. Oh, okay. Figured it out. My biannual expense for my HOA was about $250. That's why my utilities were so high. Plus the fact that I paid for my water this month. Let me make sure that was everything because that sounds a little crazy. I paid my water. Oh, oh, okay. I logged me paying my water in here twice. So let me go ahead and delete one of these. Gas. Wi-Fi, energy. Okay, it's still high. $565.66 is what I spent on my utilities this month, and that's including my $250 for my HOA. Okay, that's better. For my car, I spent a total of $126.22. That includes my insurance and my gas. I do get reimbursed some mileage that it takes me to drive to and from the airport for work. And I did two of my business trip expenses for my mileage in one month, so I literally got $90 for one and then $35 from another. Those don't sound right, but whatever. I'm doing the best I can. So that's why my car slash gas expense kind of seems a little low. When it comes to my say Sarah business expenses, I spent $13.92 for food and drinks. So everything outside of groceries, if I'm going out to eat, if I'm going to get drinks with the girls, I spent $238.58. That's Pretty high. How does that compare to last month? Yeah, last month I spent $86. So it was Angela's birthday. 
Tristan's birthday. So those were two fancy dinners we had out, so. Yep. Oh, and then I went to walk-ons with my mom and that was her Christmas present. I gave her a little dinner coupon, so I paid for both of us for that. Oof, spending some money. When it comes to Ruby, my dog, I spent $136.71 because I had to take her to the vet because she had a rash, because she's a drama queen. February really hit me hard, guys. For shopping, wait for it, I spent $583.67. Compared to last month, I only spent, okay, actually last month I spent a lot too. I'm really going shopping a lot. Vegas dresses, my pink outfit for Mardi Gras, my Mardi Gras outfit for Mardi Gras. I went to Walmart and got like makeup and like face stuff, so I considered that shopping. And when it comes to travel, $666.50. I booked a lot of stuff for my trip in April. So like I said, girl math, my trip in April is gonna be free. Oh, I considered my night in New Orleans. That was $158. That was the hotel and all of my drinks. So that was travel. I got like a lot of my tickets for my trip in April. And then I paid for my portion of the hotel for Vegas. When it comes to self-care, I spent nothing. I probably could have counted some of that makeup I bought at Walmart self-care because it was a lot of face stuff. And then other, nothing. And then my favorite expense, my mortgage, I spent $2,100.62. So my total expenses for the month of February were $4,729.42. I don't think I've spent this much money in one single month in my entire life, excluding my trip to Paris excluding when I paid my tuition, excluding my down payment on my house, okay? But listen, 2024 is about living, so we're living it up. I can buy less clothes. I can buy less clothes for sure. This one hit me hard, guys, but I'm gonna do better. I promise I'm financially responsible. I know I just started this little series, but I've been tracking my money this way forever, and that was the worst of the worst, so do not judge me. I promise I have a good handle on my finances. I bought my own home at the age of 27. I promise I know what I'm doing. But with that, I'm challenging myself to do the smallest, tiniest grocery haul of my YouTube career. My goal is to spend less than $100 this entire month. Okay, well that was fun. I'm gonna go cook dinner, maybe take a nice little bath, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. I have work, and then I have, I'm gonna do my grocery shopping. Make sure I get what I need, but not a lot. shopping and do my March restock of my pantry and my fridge. I'm going to spend the least amount as possible. So like I said, I'll be gone a lot of the month. I'm leaving in two days actually for the weekend. So I'm not going to stock up on anything in the fridge really, even though I don't do that normally. <laughs> but I've really been craving fruits lately. So I think I might get some fruits that I can eat like for breakfast tomorrow. But overall, my goal is to spend less than $100 in this restock and just make what I can do with the stuff that I do have. My mom is coming over tomorrow to sleep before I go to Colorado so she can take Ruby with her. But 
I called her multiple times to see what she wanted for dinner so I can go buy it at the store right now since I'm going and she is not answering my calls. So you're getting leftovers, mom, or whatever's in my pantry right now because I'm not buying anything special since you will refuse to answer me. Ruby wants to go outside. Of course she knows I'm about to leave, so she wants to go outside. Anyway, I'm gonna take you guys with me to the super quick March monthly restock with me. All right, get out. Bye. Sure. Where's Ellie? Ellie, move. Y'all get out of here. This is what was on my list, and this is what I normally get. And I think it's $20, but then there's this, which this is the same thing on clearance for $13. And I get a cleanser. I'm confused. Okay, just went to check out and got somebody to come here. Different thing, but it's not here, but I'm getting this instead. I just stocked up on the frozen sweet potatoes for Ruby because they never have it at Walmart. So I got almost all of them. That cost like fifteen dollars right there, so I think that's what might put me over. Okay, I think I did pretty good. I'm gonna unbag it all for you guys, give you guys a little breakdown of what I bought. Grocery breakdown, you saw me get all of these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags of sweet potatoes for Ruby. I could have got more, but I was not a hog and did not buy them all. Some Parmesan cheese, ketchup, black tea, three little party pizzas, tortillas, I got some cheeses, snack on, this is usually my meals sometimes, two cans of sliced peaches, my hyaluronic acid gel, and some new mascara. Coconut flakes for my yogurt, some pretzels for my cheeses, some beef jerky, haven't had beef jerky in forever. Got some crackers, honey for whenever I cook chicken. I make like a honey soy sauce kind of glaze. Raspberries and pineapples because I've been craving fruit. And since I'm leaving, like this all has to be eaten in two days and like these are super easy to eat in two days. Like I wasn't gonna get bananas or anything like that. Some chips because I had to and my yogurt. That is everything. Okay, for a total of, how many items? For a total of 29 items, I spent $126.44. My goal was to spend less than $100, and I think I did pretty good, considering I was able to stock up on sweet potatoes, which I haven't been able to do for like the past two months. I got some face products, which is always expensive. And yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> Again, did I buy anything? I have no meat, I have no chicken. I mean, I have it in my fridge, but like, I didn't actually buy a lot. Hmm. But I did stop myself from buying cheesecake for dinner. I was so tempted to. And I was gonna buy some more chips, which I did get these chips, but I was gonna buy more chips. Instead, I got my pineapples and raspberries. So that's a win. She has willpower. 
Okay, time to put all this away. This goes in Lily's freezer in the garage. When it comes to my fridge, it is empty as ever. Just bought this, some spinach I'm probably gonna have to throw away in the next day. My fruit I just bought, my leftovers I've been eating. Some cheese, probably have to throw that away. Ruby's food is down there and just nothing on the door. My pantry is still very well stocked. Tons of food to make. I just have to have the time to make it all. Okay, and with that, I'm concluding my March monthly reset and restock. I stocked my pantry, I stocked my fridge. I use that term really lightly because I did my February expense breakdown and I spent so much money. So I'm really trying to course correct that for March. I'm gonna be gone, I feel like, half of the month at the end of the day. Trying to rely on the food that I've stocked in previous months to not have to spend as much money this month because I'm just not gonna be here. So make sure you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I do these every single month and follow my journey in between what I do when I'm buying groceries and doing my expenses for the month. But I will see you guys in the next one.